Hey guys, it's Laura, and in today's short video, I'm gonna be showing you my top 5 favorite series. Number 5 is Pretty Little Liars. This series has now 7 seasons, and it is about a girl that disappears, and her 4 best friends try to look for her everywhere, and someone called A is sending them messages and doing really bad things to them, and they're trying to figure out who A is, and you know, the series is really, really interesting. And I don't know, I, I really like it. It's pretty, you know, it's good and it makes you be like, what's gonna happen next? It makes you, you know, it has a good hook. Number four is Jane the Virgin. This is a really original and different series and I love it just because of how original it is and how different. And I discovered it in Netflix by accident, let's say, because I was watching other series and suddenly Jane the Virgin popped up and I was like, let's watch it, why not? Because it also has a pretty good hook and it is about a girl who gets artificially inseminated and we will see if she decides to have the baby or not have it or you know there's some complications and it is also really funny so I really like it. In the top three we have the Grassy Next class. This series is about high school called the Grassy and a bunch of students, their lives, their complications, you know, their decisions and stuff like that and it is pretty relatable since I'm a teenager and if you're a teenager too, you're most likely gonna relate to it as well. So it's pretty interesting and, and the episodes are 20 minutes long, it's like really interesting and really easy to watch. And you just wanna watch more and more and more since you know you like it, it's as if you were watching your friend's life. So it's really like that. It could be probably my top one, except because of the characters, some characters aren't really like I really don't really like them, but you know, it could it could be my top one, so in the top two we have Stranger Things. A lot of my friends have talked to me about this series and I was like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. And they were like, come on, it's only eight episodes, you have to watch it, and I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try, but most likely, like most probably I'm not gonna like it. And they were like, just give it a chance, and I was like, fine, I'll do that. And I watched it, oh my god, I watched the whole eight episodes in like three days maximum because seriously it's so addictive you can't stop watching it and just the idea of the series is amazing it's something completely new it is about four friends one of them disappeared and the whole city or village is looking for him and even the police but they cannot find him and some weird things are happening too so you know it's really interesting there's something else going on that you're gonna want to know what it is and some special people appear and you're you're really really gonna love it most probably like it's only eight episodes and the next season is coming out in Halloween and I really really want Halloween to come already just for the second season just for that like really it's amazing I never thought I would even like it but I loved it and last but definitely not least in our top one we have Teen Wolf. This is my favorite series ever and it is about a boy that gets bitten by a wolf and his whole life as a wolf, whether he decides to tell people or not, you know, his friends when they figure it out that he's a wolf and you know, it's really cool. He has to fight with other wolves and other creatures. And this series has six seasons, the sixth one is coming out right now and I have only watched until the fifth one because I really don't like to have to wait for the next episode to come up so I just like wait for all of the six seasons to come out and then I'll watch it all at once and it's really really thing I love, I'm completely in love with every single character and the way they live their lives, how amazing everything is, they always have battles and stuff fights and it's really like lovely so I don't know I really love this series since it also has like a lot of different feelings I mean it's scary it is romantic it is sad sometimes it is you know surprising it has a lot of feelings in there and you're really gonna want to watch it and I don't know I really really recommend it and now to end the video I'm gonna give you two series recommendations they're not my top five favorites, that's why I didn't like mention them before. But if you have already watched the other five or if you're looking for a new series and different ones, these two are really gonna like I really recommend them. Let's you should go watch them. And one of them is One Day at a Time, and it is about a Latino family, actually a Cuban family, and just how they live their daily life. 
um, do you know, it's some events that happen, it's nothing like major that happens, nothing different, it's just their lives and how they happen, it's mostly humor and it really makes you laugh, so I don't know, it's pretty fun to watch and to spend your time on. And the second recommendation is I Zombie. I started this series not really long ago, but the few episodes that I've watched, I really like them. It is different, it is entertaining, it is about a girl that gets bitten and she turns into a zombie and just, you know, how she gets food, um, how she lives her life as a zombie, and since she's a zombie, the brains that she eats, she has, like, she gets the things that were on the brain. So, for example, if she eats the brain of a dancer, then she will know how to dance the same way the dancer did. And she will remember things that the dancer did. So, she also helps, like, solve murders and stuff. So, it's really, it's really interesting series. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can now go on Netflix and know which series to watch. And leave me down below your favorite series. And, yeah, I'll see you soon.